Hello, my fellow cookbook addicts. This is Carrie from Cookbook Divas, and I'm very excited to finally be looking through Sabrina Geyer's Feast, Middle Eastern Food to Savor and Share. If you get a chance, look up this cookbook author. She's written several, several, several really good cookbooks, usually about the Middle Eastern food. I love her cookbooks, and this is my favorite color. I love the cover of this. So let's find out what's on the inside. It came out in 2016. I grabbed it recently from the library. And I flipped through on our Instagram reels and saw amazing things, but this is the first time I've looked through thoroughly with you. Breakfast and brunch, weekend feasts, quick fix feasts, vegetarian feasts, thank you for that, summer feasts, lighter feasts, special occasions, comfort food, and additional menu ideas. This is going to be awesome. Okay, note from the author. Start off with breakfast and brunch. Here's her menu. And she suggests tea, coffee, and fruit juice as accompaniments, of course. Starting off with an awesome photograph of a big breakfast being shared by friends. <gasps> the very first recipe. <sighs> Goat cheese and phyllo pies. Cool enough as it is, but then she puts orange, pistachio, and oregano in them. Yum. I want to make those right away. And they're vegetarian. A cheddar and feta frittata. Yum. Spicy tamarind beans. Don't know what those are. Sounds good. Sausage, potato, pepper, and onion bake. Or you could substitute vegetarian sausage. Green ginger lemonade and za'atar za crumbed halloumi. Good idea. I usually just fry, deep fry my halloumi. <gasps> Here's a pea pastizi that looks amazing, but anything wrapped in pastry, right? Like, yeah. Apple, cinnamon, and golden raisin loaf. I've got to skip ahead to another chapter now because I can't show you the whole book, even though I want to. Here's weekend feasts. Starts off with a picture showing all the dishes. Yum. What are those? Let's find out. The first recipe, I want to be careful because this is a library book, a chicken pistachio and black pepper curry, savory pork and fennel baklava, and there's the picture of it. I didn't know baklava could be savory. Pan-fried lamb steaks, preserved lemon, cilantro, and garlic, and how to make cilantro, lime, and garlic rice. My boyfriend has been begging for that because the Uncle Ben's or rice aroni box I buy of cilantro lime rice is not, it's a shortcut and I occasionally have to resort to it. <clears throat> Spicy garlic savoy cabbage ribbons. I don't really care for cabbage, but it, that looks incredible. And if it's spicy and garlicky, I'll go for it. This is a beautiful pomegranate and eggplant salad. And I really got to start skipping ahead. I can't show you every picture. That's not fair. But look, it's celeriac orange and caraway salad. That's not going to be to everyone's liking, but that sounds really good to me. Oh no, this is too beautiful. This is killing me. Tomato and olive salad with sa'atar and buttermilk dressing. Oh. Preserved peppers. Okay. A pear and thyme tart. Oh, that sounds so good. I'm not even hungry right now and I'm going crazy. Okay. Quick fix feasts. Emphasis on quick. Very good, good, good. Here's what it's going to look like. What is in here? Roasted cod fillets. Spicy chickpea harissa and cheddar pitas. And a cumin fried pedrone peppers. Hope it's not too spicy. I'm a wuss. And a beautiful burrata and burnt oranges. So last night I ate burrata, but did I put it on a plate and take all this time? No, I ate it with a spoon out of the container. Don't judge me. I w it was very good. A spicy halloumi salad. Okay, I'm going to have to buy this cookbook. I'm only two chapters in and I'm like, gotta have it. Roasted apricots. Oh my gosh, I have to own this. I'm going to order. I'm going to order using one of our, uh, oh, I can't use our affiliate links because I'm the person that runs the affiliate, but you could use our affiliate links to buy this book. Vegetarian feasts. Here's the menu. Here's a preview of what the chapter holds. Polenta sticks. Mm, I'm kind of polented out. I'm not very excited. Oh, quinoa patties. Those are cute. Who doesn't love a patty? Carrot, orange, ginger, and walnut dip. Roasted portobello mushrooms. Okay, nothing groundbreaking there, but looks good. Roasted beet salad. Every Middle Eastern cookbook has that recipe, and we love it. Green couscous and roasted vegetables. Yum. And spiced green bean and tomato stew. Oh, I would make that today if I had time. And here's garlic, fenugreek, and cumin flatbreads. 
Do you know how many jars of cumin I have in my house right now? Probably seven. I don't ever want to run out. Of course, they're all half or a quarter full. <laughs> Spice rhubarb and almond cake. That's nice that the vegetarian feast includes desserts like a banana coffee and chocolate chunk cake. Okay, let's get to the next chapter. Summer feast. Oh, I have a feeling this will be pretty. Spice marinated beef kebabs. Blackened spatchcock chicken. That does not look good to this vegetarian, but I bet it looks good to you guys. Vine baked sea bass. Ooh, peach feta and mint salad. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Blueberry lime and ginger cheesecakes. And cute little parfait glasses. Here's our lighter feast chapter. Let me find a good couple examples. Chicken and turmeric vermicelli soup. Yogurt and harissa marinated chicken. Smoked salmon. Salmon's a big thing here in Seattle. Eggplant rolls. Ooh, I want to make those too. I need this cookbook. I'm going to buy it. Avocado, grapefruit, and cashew salad. Last chapter, next chapter is special occasions. Spiced lamb hot pot. This is the kind of stuff like if you're cooking for a wedding, you'll be cooking for seven days if you're Middle Eastern household. Beer roasted pork shoulder. Spice roasted quail. Definitely special occasion. You're not going to make those every night. Griddled lobster tails. Mm hmm. I know you want those. Pan roasted peppers for a crowd. Confetti rice. I love making confetti rice. Cherry dark chocolate and mint parfait. Let's find one more example. Whoa, a fig and rose milfoy. Wow, that's incredible. And let's see if there's anything at the end. Well, spiced potatoes. Who doesn't love those? Okay, wow. Uh, donut fritters. That is incredible. This is a must buy. If you like Middle Eastern food, which I absolutely do, I have to go buy this. Thank you for watching this cookbook look through. We're in feast week here at Cookbook Divas. So all the books that we're looking through have feasts somewhere in the title. You can see more of our cookbook look throughs on YouTube, Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, and of course our website and blog cookbookdivas.com. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.